Here we go, here we are at uh, Day of Champions slash Inferno. We have uh, me, Dreddy, and we have Terry on the mic as well, and I'm X. We have winner's, winner's final. final of the Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012 version tournament. So we here have Jun DP on the left playing Akuma, and Lad Napoka on the right playing Cody. I hear Lad is in form lately. He's beasting. Beat Cobblecog earlier. Yeah. Uh, two zero. online tournament, this uh, as a league. Oh yeah, yeah, he's absolutely owning in that as well. Very nice to see Jun in winner's final of a tournament. He's, uh, mm -hmm. he's playing a lot more consistently than he used to, and uh, he just plays so solid, doesn't crack in matches, anything yeah. like that. So it's really nice to see him you know, doing well in the tournament. I think these guys are well used to playing each other as well. Definitely, they? definitely. These two are casuals monsters, casuals addicts. Right. Two characters are really, or two guys who came to the fore when I left, you know, when yeah, I was away. Yeah, definitely. The new generation. Mm. The Street Fighter 3 new they generation. They old, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, spacing each other out here in the beginning. Yeah, so not really much happened so far, but uh, Latin Poke is whittling them down just little by little. Uh, Very nice footsie attempts by John here. He's just trying to land something so he can get a knockdown. He doesn't care what it is. He just wants the character to be on the ground. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, missed the combo. Very rare for Latin Poke. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Very tough in the corner when you're, when you're stuck in the corner, but... Oh, drops the combo again. A lot of combo drops today. Here we go. Is the screen laggy or what? Yeah, I think it's uh, well, it's kind of neither here nor there, I suppose, at this point. Here we go. Very nice yeah. by uh, by Poka. Three frame low short that goes about half the screen. It's like a Dalsim move. <laughs> and then into the mostly safe uh, yeah. criminal upper for the chip damage. Oh, no, it, it wasn't chip, actually. He, uh, he got hit. He built a lot of meter in that round. Look at that. Full super bar. Oh, very nice EX Onk. Latin Poke is so good at re reading when his opponent wants to do a Dragon Punch or something like that. Wow, well, very nice reaction. All of Cody's moves, Definitely. Oh yeah, the, the bad spray. Yeah. Everyone's favorite move. Very nice hit confirm off the forward medium punch there. Latin Poke does that every time. If that forward medium punch hits, he's getting a combo off it, no matter what. Nice, nice tech. Jun's going to need something special here. Good corner pressure though. Definitely. Oh, he's on chip know. damage range. Needs a good mix up here. Just going for, oh, he was just going for safe block strings, trying to land a counter hit, get a knockdown, but yeah. it wasn't to be. First game goes to Ladna Poka. Ladna was uh, patient in the corner, just, just waiting it out. Definitely. That's the thing, when you have a lead like that, even if you're in the corner, you just got to think, how is he going to land damage on me? He's going to land damage on me if I try and press buttons at him yeah. or something like that. So just block and wait for your opportunity. Very nice block strength. There was an option select standing roundhouse hidden in there, but uh, there was no backdash from Cody. So uh, Jun didn't even consider a character change. Uh, I no, guess he's more comfortable with this. His other character, main character, is Sagat, and it seems like Ladna Poka anyway destroys Sagat. So I'm not sure about uh, Cody destroying Sagat, but Ladna Poka loves that matchup. But yeah, Akuma I think uh, can do pretty well. The thing is, you know, Ladna Poka or Akuma's wake up vortex should work quite well on Cody. But Ladna Poka's blocking when he gets up is just unreal. He blocks every option. It's just really difficult to land any damage on him from a knockdown. At a range there. Rope. Wow, very nice buffer crouch jab into a medium ruffian. High. Very difficult to uh, to whiff punish that move. Every time you try, you seem to just get counter hit. Here we go. He's got him in the corner again. This is kind of the story of the match. There we go. There we go, another round goes to Ladnapoka. Ladnapoka always knows exactly when to use a bar, maximizes damage. Yeah. Very, very good character knowledge. And, and so many options when he's attacking you as well. You know? Definitely. John playing very, very conservative here. As I say that, he goes for a random dragon punch, of course. <laughs> well, he could make it safe. Yeah, definitely. I don't think that was a safe uh, sweep there, but no punish from Ladnapoka. No, this is winner's final, though. Winner's final. Oh. Very nice poke in here by John. He's actually got quite a significant lead in this round. He just needs to not get hit. If he gets hit, he's done. He's done that a few times, but he's, he just has to be so patient. That's it. He can't get hit once. Literally, that's it. If he gets hit by a jab, he's taken 280 damage and f you know 450 stun just off just off the jab combo. If he eats a jump in, he's taken 400 damage. There's the corner pressure now. Wow, very, very nice footsie there by Ladna Poka. That's a buffer, right? He just buffered that. Yeah. Uh, Slide kick. Just keeps him in the corner. Doesn't go for a complex setup. Nice punish. Didn't work that time. 
There we go. Let's see another punish. There we go. He could have got a combo there and killed him. Doesn't do it. He might regret that now in a second. Not a, it's not looking a so close here. Oh, here we go. All right. So he gets him down to chip damage range with the EX rocks. John can. Oh, and the forward roundhouse takes it. Well done, Ladnapoka. Good games. Great game from both competitors.